Tommy Collins of Greenwood, Delaware, is a buffalo rancher of sorts. Quite a rarity on Delmarva. It's a hobby, and uh, I used to fly airplanes and ride motorcycles and drive stock cars, and I've become too old for all of them, so uh, I thought I'd just get back here on the farm and uh, get a rubber snuff and uh, walk around with the buffaloes and uh, something that I can handle. Something he can handle means only if he and his right-hand man, Bill Anderson, are very careful when they enter the buffalo's domain. They're not to be trusted. My bull weighs about 2,000, 2,100 pounds. So should he be dissatisfied, we, uh, they, they could become a problem. Bobby Collins became attached to buffalo when visiting Kansas 10 years ago. Five years later, he bought his first buffalo. Today, he has a herd of 16 and vaguely hints there are bigger things ahead. Buffalo is very, very good. It cook it at a lot less temperature. I understand it's, it's great. Very, very good meat. Yeah. It's uh, comparable to cow, a cow beef, only it's a little, uh, it's a little drier. You cook and it Bobby all. went on to say it has 70% less fat, 30% more protein, and 50% less cholesterol than beef. In addition, buffalo are easy to raise. They disdain barns or shelters. The outdoors is its home. It appears that Bobby's buffaloes are here to stay. These massive structures of muscle and bone are attracting an awful lot of ooglers along Delaware Route 16 near Greenwood these days, some of whom foolishly climb inside the corral. I want to put a sign up there that says, the bull can make it from fence to fence in nine seconds. If you can't beat that, you better stay out. Scorchy is wandering our Del Marvelous land for WBOC News.